And when people are getting started with uh, event rental systems, a lot of people want to know how they can edit their own receipts and their contracts. Uh, we have hidden this a little bit just so people don't mess with it too much. It's under advanced options and editable content. So we're going to go in there real quick. Now the contract page is the first page of the contract just like it indicates. The header is the top of the contract. You can uh, edit these as you wish. The quote header is just the top of the receipt when the customer sent a quote. And um, development log, yeah, we're, we're not currently using that, but uh, you can also edit your page footer. And top and bottom, these aren't really labeled yet. This is really your receipt top and bottom. And uh, you'll want to review the bottom at the very least because the bottom comes pre-formatted with some tips and reminders that go on to your customer's receipts. So make sure that these policies that we wrote in here as a generic statement match with your company's policies and then hit submit. Uh, so that takes care of that um, confirmation message, alternative payment, and um, message for deposit. Uh, you might want to take a quick peek at those as well just to make sure that uh, it agrees with what you want the system to be telling your customers when they're done making a payment. And that's it for editable content.